13 hours ago, a mysterious portal linking to an unknown location was discovered. You are here to discuss the strategy for activating and exploring this portal. We can't sense it. We don't know where it goes. Well, what about a robot? I'm getting too old for this. <clears throat> what I need to know is are you up for the task? Yeah, we can do it. Got the dossier you wanted? This is the admin team. The admin team supports the other teams focusing on managing and acquiring funds through sponsorships, grants, and the university. We hold events for the club, students, as well as the sponsors. And we focus on logistics such as design documentation, safety, and the competition. Here's the mechanical team. Arctos's frame is designed for prototyping subsystems and for easy mounting of new configuration. With eight thrusters configured for six degrees of freedom, the top and front lids are for easy access to the hull internals. There are three main subsystems, claw, torpedoes, dropper. The claw for simple and complex manipulation tasks. Spring-loaded torpedo system. And the custom nose heavy aluminum CNC marker for the dropper challenge. These guys handle electronics. The electrical team have been designing all of our boards to control, monitor, and power our sub. Starting with the battery management system, we monitor all five of our LiPos, which power both our control board and sensor board. The sensor board monitors the pressure, temperature, and humidity of the internals, and the control board drives all the servos for the actuators on the submarine. And finally, the coders. Uh, we've designed algorithms to analyze data from our DVL IMU cameras and hydrophones. We send this data to our mission planner, which decides which actions the robot should take. We then send those actions to the path planner control algorithm that can move the robot around the environment. We can test all of this in our simulator without needing to access the physical robot. And here's what we've been working on. Arctos developed over the last year. Mechanically, it prioritizes modularity with its frame design and its flat surface area hull for heat management. The new claw, torpedoes, and dropper will be applied to competition tasks. Electrically, systems function similar to the previous robot, but there's better battery management, new display screens, improved sonar, and smaller boards. Finally, everything has been overhauled on the software side. Some highlights include a new PID controller, behavior tree, revamp vision pipeline, and of course, embedded systems for additional cameras, subsystems, and our new DVL.